Simmons Homebrew coming at you with a beer review on a Friday. That's right, it is September 22nd of 2023. And my son Christian brought me a beer from Seattle's last weekend for watching his dog. It was just freshly canned on 917. I was really curious to see how fresh this beer is. So I went on untapped and all the reviews are from 923. So this is just out. I heard that this is their first fresh hop beer of the season. This is from Fremont Brewing out of Seattle, Washington. And it is the blue is the new green. <laughs> I'll get that up there so you can see that part better. This is actually a cold steeped fresh hop beer. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this one. This is a big old can. I'm going to guess this is 32 ounces. I don't drink as much beer in terms of quantity at a time. Well, look at that head. <laughs> oh, I can smell it from here. It's got that nice like apricot color. I love that. That's so classic. All right, let's get the nose. See if we can get it through the big head. Yeah, I can. I can. I get some really lovely citrus immediately. I can smell that from a distance. All right, it's it's hard to tell right now. Um, uh, it it's it's a bit grassy. It's a bit citrus like. There's some melon quality coming through. Uh, boy, I couldn't tell if there was any tropical. Yeah, I, you know, I couldn't exactly tell you what citrus. There's a few like citrus qualities coming off of it, but definitely has that melon. Definitely has a grassy type aroma to it. I'm gonna jump on in, cheers. Okay, the first thing that hit me is uh, I expected a little more body or brighter flavors. It, it hit my mouth pretty light and almost went water immediately. I don't know, I've described this many times. I don't know who all knows about this. We'll see if the uh, hop character starts building, but it just hit my mouth. There was a, a splash of flavor then kind of watered out. It was very interesting. This is truly bizarre. This is very hard to describe. As I said, the flavors on it are very, very light. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit of the hop character like building, you know, the, the bitterness building on my mouth now. But the, the flavors are pretty indistinct as opposed to the nose. Definitely getting some citrus character on it. Um, I would say it's a mix of things. So I'm getting like a, a in the bitterness, I'm getting kind of like the grapefruit type character. Um, and it's almost a flavor of like a pithy grapefruit. Uh, and it still though has some other citrus character, like a hint of orange on there. Uh, makes me think of kumquats a little bit, interestingly enough. Um, Probably still a little bit of that grassy character, uh, though not as strong as in the nose. I'm not sure I'm getting any of the melon character at this point. That's a hefty can, but I, I kind of gave it a swirl and poured some more in just to see if I'd, I'd pull more out off the bottom that might have come up. I get slightly more body. I, I'm, I'm just not getting a whole lot more on the flavor than this. That's so interesting. I, I definitely feel like I get a little bit more of the malt grain character which is odd because that's not what i would expect after giving it a swirl by any means i do think i get just a hint of that melon character at one moment i almost felt like i'd got like a just the lightest green grape that's interesting so cold steep hops i really don't know a lot about the process i'm gonna have to look that up if you know about it go ahead and put a note down below um but this is uh, this is a unique beer, kind of different, and uh, just how light and how watered out and all these other characteristics going on. Um, it drinks real easy though. I mean, it it goes down super easy, especially for a fresh hop beer. Because you know I've been to fresh hop beer festivals, and you get to a point where you can't take anymore. Like those, 
alpha acids or whatever all it is that's in there, can, that greenness can be just too much at points. This doesn't taste like, have that, a super strong like green quality to it. There's some there. And you can get that uh, within the bitterness quality of it. But I'm picking it apart. It really is a super easy drinking beer. And if you're a fresh hop beer fan, I mean, I would think that you would rather enjoy this. It just drinks rather well. So in terms of style, I don't know that I can really rate fresh hop beers because I just don't have them that often. But in terms of IPAs, it's mellowing out. Uh, I like the flavor that I'm getting. It has a nice balance in terms of hoppy quality and, and, and then the malt build and everything. That's really good. I, I give them a lot of credit there. Super easy drinking, really well balanced. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good IPA. The watering out thing was interesting. It's, it's holding on flavor as you have the bitterness, but it's, it's a nice beer. I'm gonna give this an 87. Overall, I'm gonna hang pretty tight with it. Um, uh, overall, I'm gonna hang pretty tight with that number uh, just because I think it's a well-crafted, easy drinking beer again. I'm gonna give it an 86. It's a good one. Here it is again. It is the Blue is the New Green from Fremont Brewing out of Seattle, Washington. I would say give this one a try. The only problem is you can only get it at the brewery. So if you end up in the Seattle area, I would head on over there and give this one a shot. This is Kevin at Clements Homebury saying life's too short to drink cheap beer, and I will see you in the next beer review. I'd say give this one a try, but you can only get it at the brewery. So if you're in the Seattle area, head on over to Fremont. <laughs> Get yourself a pint. This is Kevin Clemens Home for saying life's short. <laughs> life short. That's not good. <laughs> Here it is again. It is the green is the 